Fernview Primary English Paper. First question. Mary, the twins and I made a mess and had to tidy the room. Okay, so keyword Mary, the twins and I link to ourselves. First question answer is three. The couple okay spending a fortune to paint their kitchen this year. How many couple are there? There's only one couple without an S, only one. Alright, so is singular. Okay, spending a fortune to paint their kitchen this year. Now let's move on to the second question. Third question, please be patient. The doctor, okay, remember, is in a conversation. So, there's no past tense. Alright. The doctor is attending to a sick old man now. Sick nurse. Question four. Granny Smith dashed a hungry stray cat last night. Okay. Passed already. Must be past tense. Alright, answer. Fat. A cat last night. Number six. Sorry, number five. The teacher, he scraped diligently when the lights went off. The teacher, okay, went off. Past tense already. Was marking. Was, alright, past tense. Okay, marking is script. Answer is four. Question 6. Mango in this. Okay, the keyword here is this script and mangoes. There's more than one, so you can't use. First of all, you can cancel out that and those because they, that and those is over there. This, so it's either this or this because of mangoes, more than one. So uh, question 6 answer is 3. Question 7. She had books to pack in the large boxes okay you see the word books so definitely must be many since books you can count also so answer must be four she had many books to pack in the large boxes question eight the long distance runner need dash energy to compete in the marathon all right okay energy is the keyword here you can't count energy so you can say some a little and you won't uh, you won't say a lot of energy Answer, 4. Question 9. Vocab. Tony was dashed to find out that his lifetime investment was stolen. Okay, definitely he won't be amazed by it. He would be very distraught. Distraught means um, afraid, stress. Okay, usually something serious badly that happens so answer is two okay we go on to number 10 the police cross examine the dash who saw the murder okay you can't say uh because who saw the murder so it cannot be the victim cannot be the culprit okay culprit is someone who actually commits the crime you cannot say on lucas okay so when you cross examine you must be a witness to it so answer for question 10 is three Okay, we move on. Okay, question 11. David dashed in the shallow water with friends to carefully study. Alright, uh, keyword here is shallow water. Okay, shallow water means uh, not so deep. Okay, you only do diving in very deep waters. Alright, uh, when you wait and you splash, you couldn't really see clearly the water. Okay, so it actually snorkel. Okay, snorkel is whereby it's like this and then it has a little tube out like this. This is called snorkeling, alright? Okay, question 12. The teacher was angry because the boy had behaved rudely. If the boy behaved very gentle, the teacher won't be angry. Behave very politely or is very strict, uh, there's no way the teacher is angry. Except the boy behaved rudely, alright? Question 13. The what of this design outfit is so glossy? Praise Armani. Okay, outfit 
glossy. It means the material. Okay. Okay. So which one is material? It's not the smell. Odor is smell. All right. Um, it's texture. Okay. Texture means material. What kind of material it is? Okay. Fragrance is a, is also about smell. So it cannot be. All right. So the answer is two. The children knew that they would be dash if they did not clear the clutter in their room. The children knew that they would be in hot soup. In hot soup means in trouble. In trouble. Alright? If you do not finish my homework, you will be in hot soup. Next, we move on to the comprehension MCQ. There was once a little boy named Jack who became very ill. He had to spend all day in bed. His friends were not allowed to go near him. Jack spent his days feeling blue. There was not much he could do except looking out of the window. One day, Jack saw a strange shape outside the window. It was a penguin eating a sausage sandwich. Suddenly, the penguin squeezed in through the open window, greeted him, turned around and left. Jack was very surprised. While he was still trying to figure it out, he saw a monkey in a nappy outside his window, busy blowing up a balloon. As more and more crazy looking characters appeared out of the window, Jack burst out laughing and found it hard to stop. The strange characters made Jack feel much happier. Before long, he was able to return to school again. At school, Jack met all his friends and told them all about the strange things he had seen. While Jack was talking to his best friend, he saw something sticking out of his friend's school bag. Jack was so insistent that finally his friend had to show him what was in his bag. Costume and strange disguises. Jack's face lit up. His best friend smiled and winked at him. Question 1. Why did Jack have to spend all day in bed? Okay, so the first question, uh, actually we have the answer here is this. Okay, Jack who became very ill, he had to spend all day in bed. This is my answer for my first MCQ question. So, why did he spend his time? Because he was very sick. Question 15, answer is 1. Let's move on to question 16. What did Jack first discover when he looked out of the window? Okay, the first time he discovered was... Okay, one day, Jack saw a strange shape. It was a penguin eating a sausage sandwich. This is my answer for question 2. Okay, so what did he first... Discover he discovered a penguin eating a sandwich. Okay, that's the first thing he he discovered. Okay, we move on to the next one. How did Jack feel when more characters appeared in the window? Right? Okay, you can see that uh okay, more and more crazy looking characters appeared. See? Jack bursts out laughing and find hard to stop. Strange characters make Jack feel much happier this is my answer for question three so this one number 17 answer is one joyful joyful meaning happy all right okay number eight from line eight what does it refers to all right so you look at it okay there you see it he was very surprised while he was still trying to figure it out okay it's actually referring to this about the penguin all right about the penguin okay so what does it refers to he refers to 18 answer is for penguin okay strange appearance of a penguin answer is for okay let's go on to question 19 why do you think jack best friend carried costumes and strange disguises in the back okay uh, definitely he you should know by now that the friend is the one who actually disguised all the characters to make Jack happier so he could be disguising as the crazy looking characters to cheer Jack up so 19 your answer is 3 okay we move on to the grammar close okay my classmates and I had finally ended our run with perspirations, perspiration still dripping down our temples we hurried towards a low table where we had put Answer is our, all right, our handkerchief earlier. As can we cross up our. As we are not finished, remember to put labels on them. We had to organize the pieces one by one. I finally said, this doesn't seem to be my handkerchief. Eat yours, Fred. 
Okay, your answer is E. Okay, my handkerchief is green. Then I continue confidently. This is the only green handkerchief, so it should be mine. Okay, my answer is A. Those handkerchiefs belong to the girls. This pink one should be theirs. Okay, F2. Okay, now we move on to passage 2. Maria is a brilliant young chef. Once she asked me excitedly, Aunt Susie, can I, one person, cook? Because I is special, so I, A. Okay, cook chicken soup for lunch? No problem, I replied. I can't wait to taste your delicious food. By the way, the toast, the roast turkey you, 25, okay. See, the word previously means past already, so answer must be C. Okay, cook previously was simply delectable. I continue. Thanks. I, okay, I'm still doing it, but because it's past already, I have cooked the dish several times. I'm glad you love it. Okay, grammar close now. Okay, ducks. Okay, so more than one, so you definitely have to use the word look. Okay, circle. They ask us to circle, so read the instruction. Look for a mate or partner in winter. Typically, the males. Okay, more than one again, so you have to use attract the females with their colorful feathers. The females then lead the males to their breeding ground in spring. Instinctively, the breeding ground. Okay, one breeding ground only. So it still is singular. It's usually the place where the eggs are hatched. The male. Alright, so now you highlight the male. Okay, one male only, so you must use an S. Okay. Guts their territory by chasing away other couples. Okay, next we move to vocab close. Jordan and his buddy Mason were watching their favorite football match in the living room when a uh, deafening, okay, deafening. Deafening means huge, very, very loud, okay? Sound stunned them. Before they could react, the ground started to shadow. Shadow means a uh, movement, like, you know, shakes. Okay, powerfully causing a deep crack to make it across the sturdy cemented floor. Jordan and Mason were shivering in fright. They... Okay, remember uh, when you're in fact, what do you do? You're still rooted to the ground, so they froze in their crouch, okay? Without moving even a muscle, okay? Without even moving, I already tell you that it's froze, huh? Jordan finally broke the silence, we started his body. Do you spell that, Jordan? Asked Mason curiously. He, because he, he smelled, right? So he must be what? He sniffed. Sniff means smell, right? Okay, he sniffed the familiar stench that seemed to be coming from everywhere very close to him. The trail led to Jordan, who bashly, 35, he admitted, it's me. I have to let it out whenever I'm frightened. I can't control it. Okay, so he must have uh, let off okay, some gas. Alright, so this is the end. Comprehension, open-handed. Gary paddled slowly along the green line track on his way to school. The next day was the start of the weekend and he was daydreaming about the deep sea fishing trip that he was embarking on. Suddenly, he heard a strange noise. Gary came to a halt and looked up. What he saw both shocked and terrified him. A huge swarm of bees filled the sky and buzzed angrily towards him. With no time to waste, he sped off in the opposite direction, not knowing what he was going or what he was doing. On a nearby hill, he saw smoke wafting skywards from the chimney of the Simpson family home, and he decided to make a bee line straight towards it. Gary cycled frantically and raced over the bridge that crossed the dry river bed. Gary was travelling at 20 km per hour, but the bees were slower, slowly catching up. Soon he felt sharp pricks like needles entering his uncovered arms. Then he spotted the pond where Mr. Simpson used to irrigate his orchid and vegetable garden. He dived into the cool water and disappeared below the surface, away from the savage insects. After holding his breath for as long as he could, he came up for air and noticed that the bees had moved on. Okay, first question. How did Gary go to school? Okay, so from the passage, right, we can tell that Gary paddled slowly along the glass line track on his way to school. Paddled means taking bicycle. Okay, so you should answer like this. Okay, it's past tense. Please remember, so you have to answer everything in past tense. So he 
pedal to school. Okay, it's that simple and you get your two marks. What caused the strange noise? All right, so the strange noise definitely must come from the bees, right? This is the only thing that it was, I think. So you see, suddenly he heard a strange noise. He came to a halt and looked up. A huge storm of bees filled the sky. Okay, and bars angrily towards him. That is my question, answer for question two. So, uh, what was the... What causes the strange noise? Okay, same thing, ED. So, I think it must be passed then. So, you must answer in full sentence. It was... Coming from the swamp of bees. Alright, question 38. What indicated to Gary that the bees were drawing near? Alright, um, it means that when does Gary know that it's starting to get slowly catching up? Okay, so if you remember here, you see, but the bees were slowly catching up. Why? Soon, he felt sharp pricks like needles entering his uncovered arms. So because he could feel the sharp needles entering his arms, that's why that must be the answer. So, 38. What indicated to Gary that the bees were drawing near? Alright. The sharp pricks like needles entering his uncovered arms. Okay, we move to 39 now. Why do you think Gary decided to head towards the Simpson home, uh, family home? Okay, uh, definitely because he was, he was, um, he was, he wants to escape from the bees. He saw that the Simpson family home had this chimney that had the smoke. So he decided to go there because he know there's people there that can help him. So actually, why did he want to head there? Because he wanted to escape from the bees. Is that simple? All right. Okay. How did Gary finally make his escape after he crossed the beach? All right. Okay. If you see very carefully, okay, he finally managed to get away from all the bees by. He dived into the cool water and disappeared below. After holding his breath for as long as he could, he came up for air and noticed that the bees had moved on. Okay, this is your answer for question 5. Alright, so how did he escape from the bees finally? So you say that uh, he stayed below the surface of the pond water and help his breath for as long as he could okay so that's the end of this fun view paper